I've decided just to bore this out, uh, press the sleeve in, and then we bore it to fit on the shaft. Once I get the shaft dressed up in the motor, you can see I haven't got a great lot of metal to play with. The motor shaft's 5 8 So basically, if I bore that out to 3 quarter, it'll give us a 16 to side in the sleeve, that which will be enough. I'll just press an aluminium aluminium bush into here, aluminium plug into here and then remount it and bore it so the first thing to do is get a set up in the four door chuck get that board out to three quarter or round about three quarter Just use a tear stuck segment to get it somewhere near. You need to be careful I don't over tighten this, I don't want to damage the damage the lip on the pulley. It won't take a lot to hold it. Right, we'll get a clock here, John. We shall get it run nice and true. Right, it's within sort of 20 thou, straight out of, the, out of the box, so to speak. We find the high side, which is that one. It's in the opposite one. A little nip on that one. High one, which is that one. Tighten high one, which is there. I don't know what you're doing, put too much weight on the on the pulley and damage it. It'll not be round. It'll be. Somewhere near around the pulley. It's within a couple of thousands there. Within a thousandth of an inch there, which is pretty good. I'll try it on the other face. Right, that's not too bad. Certainly near enough for what we're doing with it. I found a nice little high speed steel boring tool that will get nearly all the way through. Uh, all I want to do is bore it out big enough to get it a good tip boring tool. It's aluminium so it is nice and soft. I'll put a power feed on so it's all the finish I can get with it. Yeah, we'll stop putting there. And we'll just put it here.
going to keep an eye on this side because I haven't got a grill or a metal to play with. Right, 80 fells will be about it. Tools actually making a nice job. What I think I'll do is I'll grind some of this off here so I can get it in a bit further. I mean, that quarter of an inch and it'll go all the way through. I think that's going to go all the way through, so that'll do the, that'll do the job nicely for us. Just clean the tool up for its last, its last coat. Ground just enough clearance on the shank of the tool for it to clear the bore. Not to fill there. I'll reverse the direction in the power feed and then come back out on the power again. So I was pulled back through on exactly the same setting. As a spring foot. Right, so we've got a nice clean bowl now. Which is just over three quarter. I've got a great lot of metal left there but there's enough. A bit of alloy bar there, I can turn a nice bush out of that. Remount it and bore it out to fit the motor shaft. Put two new grub screw holes through. Should run for another 50 years. Yeah, I've got a bit of aluminium bar set up here just to make the, the plug for the pulley out of. If you're wondering why it's in a four jaw chuck, it's because I've got something in the three jaw chuck that I don't want to take out. So I've just taken the whole the whole chuck off. I need two inches of two inch piece to go through so we'll make a two and a quarter just to give a little bit of room to play with two and a quarter is there
eight to a quarter. Put a nice finish on that. Getting it roughly down to size. Decent finish on there. It's getting that time for a bit of more accurate measurement. We'll have to watch the temperature of this as well and make sure it's cool before we take our final cut. The vernier is pretty good for getting you, getting you somewhere near. That's actually a pretty good vernier, uh, Mr. 201, one I use all the time. But if you want something really accurate, you use a micrometer. snap gauge to get a size of the ball. I know it's over three quarter. So it's Take a five thou cut, five thou sides, ten thou. Just put it on the side nice and gently. See, we'll have to watch the temperature. Same size of both ends, which is always a, a good sign. It's 790 and a half. And we're going to 789, so we've got about a just under 2,000. One more cut in the same setting. She's actually taking a very, very light cut there. What we call a string cut, takes a screw up and a tool of it. Tool push. This is quite a rigid setup, but you do, you do still get spring in them. basically think that will grow now. I'll warm this up and that should expand it enough to be able to get it into it. I need to put a chamfer on this end and I'm also going to centre drill this end before I take it out of the chuck which will make it much easier for me to set the pulley up. Just put a little chamfer on the end.
Right, next thing is to part this off. I'll square that shoulder up as well because I'll leave this bit on. You see, I'm going to leave it on as we'll come to press it in. Okay, we'll just square this corner up. Right, we want that parting off. Probably about there. Starting to tighten up there. Right, before you start warming things up, you make sure you've got all the things at hand you're going to need. We need a glove. We need something for that to rest on too, like that. Obviously we need what sleeve we've made, a drift and a hammer. If I'd made this a poor fit, I would have locked it in. But it is a good fit in there, so I think if I warm the pulley up, it should tap in there quite nicely. I'm just going to warm the pulley up on this. It'll come in screw up. That one ends up with that. The two and that. Whoa! Oh, here it goes. I need some clutter on there, warm it up. Nice and gently. I'm going to put the, the kettle on, make Debs a cup of tea. Going back and find the bastard's melted, but I don't think so. Right, it's starting to get warm. Yes, it's very warm. I think it's at about the right sort of temperature now. And what I said you do is put your glove on to pick hot things up. Just use a glove as a bit of rag. And so that's what I do. Right, I'll move the camera to a better place. Right, the moment of truth. Turn that off. That goes onto there like that. Once again, it's just time to say thanks very much for all the support you've given to me, channel, but especially for all the support you've given and are still giving towards Deb, my wife, and of course, my dad. Thanks very much. There. Ah, you bastard. Wrong lever, see? Shit.